Hey, what's up? Chanel, welcome to a new episode of Vital Vinyl Vlog. Today we're blasting, festering, excarnation, festering, Carsneath demo by Kaoten. Extremely Rotten did the cassettes. MSUO did the vinyl. Holy shit, does this sound great on wax. Wow. Both of these demos are fucking awesome. Like, I normally legit listen to Where Gods Excarnate a couple times a month, but uh, I never got a physical copy of Fester and Karsniov. So, having it on vinyl, it sounds fucking killer. And it was when they changed their logo up as well. I always loved the original logo, but still, fucking sick shit. David Milkinson, Kill Town Death Metal. If you've never heard Kaoten, yo, check this the fuck out. And speaking of death metal, Ink Lesions, aka David Milkinson, he drew up this band's logo, and I, I love the logo so fucking much. I'm talking about Oakland, California's Evils and their new EP, Pustulant Spawn. Fuck yes, James and company. Four tracks of sewer-soaked, pummeling death metal. First off, let's just look at the artwork, because the artwork alone Looks like this is something that fell straight out of Finland in the early 90s. Look at that. Fuck yes, Aaron Lee. Amazing, amazing job here. This pretty much sums up what this bad boy sounds like. And we're going to take a little listen to the first track, Repulsive Infestation, in a few minutes. But check out that logo by David Milkinson. Let me really quick show you what the red logo looks like for this badass, too. Sorry about that, but boom! Look at that. Fucking so cool. I love the, the, the purple or blue. Again, I'm kind of colorblind. But that is so fucking sick looking. Like, hell yeah. I love David's work, like, Hails to Ink Lesions, good shit, like, I mean, I'm always rocking Dave's shit regardless, like, total, total fucking support, and total support to Evulse, James, he's such a good vocalist, like, from Swamp Witch to Kalfa to fucking Evulse, like, he has so many projects that, like, are just great. Like, I have one of his earliest projects, like, one of, it's like a grind demo. Uh, fuck, here it is. Your enemy, fuck off, weak grind. Like, this is just DIY as fuck. Recorded in the, the band's, you know, live rehearsal space in 2011. DIY or die, just cool fucking shit. Stuff like this. I mean, if you're a band just starting out, that's how you do things. Like, and I, I fucking love it. And James has always brought that DIY approach to Transylvanian recordings. AKA Transylvanian tapes. Which I think it's a really cool as well to, to change the label's name from Transylvania tapes to Transylvanian recordings as it opens up an entire, you know, field. But this is such a fucking killer slab of death metal for 2020. It just keeps getting sicker and sicker the later the year's getting, you know, without shows going on. I think it's given bands a lot more time to, you know, get that creative itch out of the way and getting some really, really sick demos, promos, all sorts of fucking rad stuff in the underground has been dropping in the year of No Lord 2020. And Avulse, 
Pustulant Spawn is one of those releases that's right up there with Cerebral Rot spewing purulence. Like, it's fucking gnarly, sewer-drenched death metal that definitely takes a page out of the early days of Finnish death metal and just Americanizes it a little bit. And it's something, you know, that's just grade A death metal at the end of the day. Now, Call of the Void is a great release, but, like, Avulse really stepped the game up here on Pustulant Spawn. This is some, like I said, like a next level of filthiness for Evulse. Like, first off, just look at the fucking tape color. I think it's so just awesome. They could have picked any color they wanted, but like by making it, you know, match with like the artwork, I think it's even fucking cooler. And, like, with the original, the only way you were getting the colored artwork was by getting the vinyl 7-inch version, to my knowledge. I'm sure if they did a CD, it was colored, but, like, Call of the Void demo, it was black and white, the cassette version, while the color was, like, red, and it fucking popped. Like, it was really sick, but, like, this is just, both covers are, you know, definitely early 90s influenced, but, like, the whole seven inches of this, I should have gotten it out, but too late now. I really hope this gets a vinyl release because it deserves one, but it sounds absolutely amazing on cassette. I fucking love this shit. Just, you know fucking, uh, repulsive infestation, pustulant spawn, depraved sanctity, and worms made flesh make up this bad boy, and this is a bad boy alright, seriously, recorded, mixed, and mastered by Fred Alvia, and like I was saying, the cover art by Aaron Lee is absolutely fucking sickening. Look at that shit. It's just so fucking good. Even if this demo got like a 12 inch release, like it would look, well EP, it would look so cool, the artwork, like on 12 inches, like fuck yeah. And again, that logo is so goddamn fucking sick, but Let's throw this bad boy on so you can hear how sick it really fucking is. But we were blasting the second demo from Kaotin, Festering Karsnieth, off Festering Excarnation, which is an amazing demo comp from one of Kill Town's finest, Kaotin on MSUO. If you could still get your hands on this, get the vinyl version, the cassette version, unless you have the original copies, there's something weird about, I don't know, it just doesn't sound right, but this sounds so fucking good on vinyl, like, it's ridiculous. So, real quick. We were blasting Kaotin, but we're gonna play the new Evolts real quick. Track number one which is repulsive infestation so let's fucking do this shit this fucker's going through boys and girls boom <laughs>
want to spoil anymore. Sorry about that. But, a Vols Pustulant Spawn on Transylvanian Recordings. Essential 2020 Death Fucking Metal. Expect, I meant, accept no imitations. That sounds very, very utterly finished, but at the same time, still sounds like it's from Oakland. It has that Oakland classic death metal sound to it, as well as a sound from the crypts of Finland in the early 90s. This is something 100% worth your time, money, support, everything. Fucking hails to a Vols and hails to Transylvanian Recordings. And thank you to Pat Hopkins and James for the constant support. And John Randall, along with Jesus, at MSUO. We were blasting Kaoten, Festering, Excarnation, Demo Comp. And we were just blasting the new Evulse Pustulant Spawn Cassette. Get in the both, and as always, thanks for watching, you fucking rule. Hey.